Now, before we go any further, I need to introduce you to a new technology that the search engines are starting to use. It's called LSI, or Latent Semantic Indexing. This is technology that Google has pioneered. They've bought a company that were experts in it, and they've started to integrate it into their search engine results. Now, where Google leads, other search engine companies follow. Now, it's vital for a search engine company to provide relevant results. I'm sure those of you that have been around remember the big Google slap a few years ago, where they suddenly eradicated all of the junk AdSense sites out of the search engine results. If you remember at the time, you couldn't search for anything without the top 10 search engine results being complete gibberish sites with nothing but AdSense ads on it. So what's happened is Google have introduced this new technology and it makes sure that the results that it gives you back as a searcher are much more relevant. And by providing relevant search results, that's how search engines get used. That's how Google built its name. It provided better search results than everybody else, which is why people started to use it. LSI aims to better distinguish quality and relevant information. So this LSI really is starting to herald the end of the days of the rubbish article. Do you know the sort of, I mean, the sort that are written for search engines and not people? The ones that are stuffed with keywords and make absolutely no sense when you read them. LSI ensures that the keywords, that, that the articles are full of the right keywords but in the right order and in the right context. So it knows that an article on weight loss should talk about things like diets, fitness, health, nutrition and so on but not about dog training, um, parrot keeping and gardening for example. So it understands that for any keyword there should be other keywords in the area around it in order for it to be relevant. So LSI rewards people who write good quality articles with natural language and natural keywords. It's not just looking at keywords like in the good old days where you could make sure that every sentence contained your keyword and the search engine will go, hey, that article looks good, we'll rank it high. It doesn't do that anymore. It lo if it sees that, it goes spam and throws it out the window. What it does now is it looks at the keyword and expects to find these other words in the neighborhood in order for it to be relevant. It looks for synonyms and other related words. So it, it, it's a complex technology and you've got to remember the people that work for Google have brains the size of planets. They are super geeks, super intelligent and you know it's a constant race between us and them you know to stay ahead of each other. We try to understand what they're doing so that we can you know beat the system and stay ranking high they keep an eye on what we're doing and try to make sure we can't beat the system. So it's actually quite a complex, you know, quite a, f a fun race if you like. But LSI has been introduced to make sure that quality remains in the search engine results. Now, for example, on the website about barbecues, an LSI engine such as Google will expect to find other words. So it'll be looking for things like charcoal, grill, burger, sauce, recipe it will expect to find all of those so if my article title is the best barbecue barbecue sauce in the world it will fully expect to find some of these words in there and if it didn't it will start to go hmm something's a bit fishy about this site it would then either shove it in the sandbox send it for human review or do whatever google does with sites it doesn't particularly like i don't know what they do google doesn't tell us anything but it, this is how it works. So what, what it means is you have to focus your articles on human beings. Now, I've said this for a long, long time, that search engines don't have credit cards. So there's no point targeting them. You've got to target the human beings who have the credit cards and who can make the purchase. And that way, you're much more likely to make some money. LSI determines the value of a site in terms of its relevance and its importance. So that's why it's so important to us. Okay, Google will list the sites that it thinks is most relevant, and most authoritative and most important for certain keywords. And LSI helps Google to determine if that's your site. 
So how is this LSI going to affect you? Well, for a start, it means you're going to have to write your lang articles in natural language. No more of this peculiar language where you're trying to awkwardly stuff keywords in. You know the sort I mean, the sort that you read and you think, yeah, what's that mean? Doesn't quite make sense. It's much better now to write an article as if you're talking, you know, as if you and I sat here having a conversation. Write your article in the same chatty way as if we're talking. So use the same natural language patterns and you'll be rewarded for it. I use this in all of my sites, all of my articles, have done for a long time, and I rank well. As I said to you, in seven days, I'm starting to get a steady stream of visitors to my one of my websites, and that's just from a few articles. I haven't done a great deal with it. So this natural language is going to really reward you. So you've got to aim your writing at human beings. You know, the people with the, search, uh, with the credit cards are going to buy from you, they're the people you're targeting with these articles. So, as I said, I always imagine that you know there's some chap sat on the other side of my monitor that I'm talking to when I'm writing my articles. I actually dictate them uh, using software onto the computer as it helps me get that more natural flow in the article. And, as I said, it works well, but you've got to start targeting humans and not search engines. You need to use related keywords in your articles and in your website content. So yeah, an article about barbecues, as we saw on the previous page, use the keywords related to it. Don't be frightened to put other keywords in there. You know, your keyword density in any article shouldn't be more than between 1 and 3%. That's where I tend to aim. I mean, some of my articles, to be perfectly honest, I've used my keyword once. Yeah, a 500 word article, my keyword's been in it once. It's obviously in the title and the resource box, but it's actually in the main body just the once. And yeah, you know, that's fine because the search engines look at everything to do with your article. It looks at all the other keywords around it. So if the right keywords are in there, the right words it expects, it's going to rank you high regardless of how much you manage to shoehorn your main keyword in. So the whole point of LSI is it helps people find information based around the theme, not just a keyword. So what we may expect to see over the next few years is a change in how the search engine's result, uh, results work. So instead of you know, the focus being on keywords, it's going to be themes. They're going to almost um, intuit what it is you're looking for from what you type in. So LSI is increasingly more important. And what I'm saying to people is start integrating LSI now into your articles, into your website content. And then when LSI really takes off and becomes mainstream in the next sort of 6 to 18 months time, you're in a great position because all your articles are already LSI Prepare, prepared, they're LSI ready, so of course they're going to rank well, they're going to be loved by the search engines, and that's what you want. So whenever you do links as well, remember in your resource box in articles or in websites you often do links to other sites, what you want to do is your anchor text, the main link is still going to be your keyword, but have related keywords around it naturally to help in ensure its relevance. So Google and the other search engines will see one anchor text but look at the keywords around it to make sure that it's relevant. So if my keyword is barbecue grills and that's my link to um, my sales site or whatever site it might be, if I have some other barbecue related words around it, it's going to go, yeah, that looks relevant. Whereas if it just says, come here for great barbecue grills, they're going to go, well, that's not as relevant, not sure about that. But if I write something like, um, if you want to find out how to make great sauces and burgers and enjoy a barbecue relish, um, you know, or enjoy a great day out in the garden with your family and friends, visit my Link Barbecue Grills website today and stop burning your burgers and start gourmet cooking in the garden. Full of relevant keywords that search engines are going to go, ooh, we like that. That's what you're looking for. So this is the whole point of LSI. It's very, very important. And I, I do firmly believe, and I'm sure many of the top gurus will not tell you this, is that if you start doing your LSI um, preparations now, it will mean that when it comes around to it, you are going to be in a very, very good position. And already, Google, 
are using LSI and the other search engines are going to start quietly implementing it over the next sort of few months to a year so you expect soon all the major search engines to use it so start now using LSI in everything you do on the internet and it's gonna pay you back big time um, very very much so it's gonna really help you rank well it's a very very important concept and one that I hope you understand now